Greetings, I'm Sasha Renee Todd, and I've dedicated a large part of my professional journey to understanding the ecological services of freshwater habitats and the complexities of water challenges in our modern world. For the next few minutes, we will review the historical symbiosis between water and civilization and explore a blueprint where AI becomes our ally, reviewing innovative strategies to address water stress. Essential for all biological processes, water is the building block of life on Earth. Every cell in our bodies requires water to function. For this reason, the first human settlements sprang up around rivers and lakes. The availability of fresh water has always played a pivotal role in the settlement and growth of human populations throughout history for drinking, agriculture, and transportation. The development of new technologies such as canals and aqueducts allowed people to transport fresh water over longer distances. This made it possible for human settlements to grow and develop in areas that were previously uninhabitable. But the Industrial Revolution led to a dramatic increase in the demand for fresh water with the growth of cities and the development of new industries such as textiles and mining. The increased demand for fresh water led to the construction of water infrastructure, such as dams and reservoirs. Water resources are the total volume of water available for human use. But this is a finite resource. Water security is the sustainable availability and accessibility of clean water. Threats to water security include population growth, climate change, and pollution. Water stress is the term used to describe the deterioration in quantity and or quality of freshwater resources. According to the World Resources Institute, over 2 billion people worldwide currently live in water stressed areas. 25 countries housing one quarter of the global population face extremely high water stress each year regularly using up their entire available water supply. Over the past century, global demand for water has surged by 600%, driven by population growth, economic progression, and shifts in consumption habits. The UN estimates that nearly 6 billion people will suffer from clean water scarcity by 2050. Disease, famine, sociopolitical unrest, and economic instability are the consequences of poor water management. Rising temperatures caused by climate change are making naturally arid regions even drier. This can lead to crop failures and livestock deaths. Not only can water scarcity lead to food insecurity and famine, but malnutrition also lowers immunity, making it difficult for people to fight off diseases and illnesses. Lack of clean water for drinking, sanitation, and hygiene purposes can lead to a range of diseases such as diarrhea, cholera, and typhoid. Water scarcity has led to conflicts in the past, particularly in regions where water resources are shared by multiple countries, for example, the Nile, Indus, and Jordan rivers. In some instances, the outcomes of these disputes have been violence. A notable example is the Iran-Iraq War from 1980 to 1988, with a key contributor being the contested use of the Shat al-Arab River. Floods and droughts are likely to cause mass migrations in the near future. From 2017 to 2022, just under 3 million people globally were displaced by drought, according to the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center. The World Health Organization further estimates that up to 700 million people are at risk of being displaced over the next decade. AI has the potential to play a vital role in helping us to manage water resources more sustainably and efficiently. AI is currently being used in a number of sectors for water management purposes. Water quality and water supply can be monitored and analyzed in real time. AI models can track pollution sources and predict potential contaminants in various water sources, ensuring safe drinking water. In California, 
83% of persons depend on groundwater for some portion of their water supply. Overextraction has led to significant depletion of groundwater supplies. This has degraded the water quality, rendering some aquifers unusable now for drinking or irrigation. To this end, EI is being used to monitor and manage groundwater resources to prevent overextraction in California. Predictive modeling is being used to forecast future water demand based on variables like industrial growth and urban expansion, as well as to calculate future water availability by analyzing trends in rainfall, snowmelt, or other sources. Israel is situated in a region with scarce water resources. The country has heavily invested in tech solutions, including development of desalination plants which convert seawater to freshwater. However, this is energy intensive and expensive. The Water Authority is working on an AI-powered platform to predict water demand and optimize distribution, which is expected to save millions of dollars per year. In the Netherlands, AI is being used to develop early warning systems for floods. Whereas the weather forecast tells us when a storm is approaching, through AI and machine learning methods, we will be able to predict with high levels of accuracy days in advance exactly how water from the storm will travel through a particular community. AI systems can ensure optimized water management for example, by quickly detecting leaks. In Jamaica, water inefficiency is a major problem, with an estimated 40 to 50% of water supply being lost through leaks. Jamaica's name translates to land of wood and water, or land of springs. But despite its moniker, Jamaica is a highly water-stressed country. The outdated infrastructure, including old pipes and treatment facilities, cannot meet the growing demand for water, especially during dry seasons. Through modernization and adoption of AI technologies, Jamaica could significantly enhance the efficiency, reliability, and sustainability of its water supply infrastructure. This could create an estimated savings from eliminating non-revenue water costs alone of 10 billion Jamaican dollars or US 60 million per annum. In India, the agricultural sector accounts for over 80% of water consumption. AI is therefore being used to develop and implement water conservation strategies in agriculture. AI-driven smart irrigation systems can determine the exact amount of water crops need, reducing over-irrigation, and recommend crops more suited to projected conditions at a given locale. Countries like Israel are also using AI to simulate the impacts of climate change on water distribution and develop adaptation and mitigation strategies. AI is currently being used to develop new water treatment technologies. In Australia, one company is using AI to develop a new more energy efficient water desalination technology. As we look towards the future prospects of AI for water management, the main limitations pertain to lack of data, lack of financial resources, and lack of specialized training. For most countries, especially developing countries, there is a lack of data on freshwater resources. And this data is essential for training and using AI models. The examples we looked at earlier require data on vast quantities of terrain and land use, as well as socioeconomic data and other variables. These AI solutions can also be expensive to implement and develop, and there will be a need to build capacity in developing countries to use AI. Despite these challenges, there are also a number of opportunities to scale up the use of AI in water management. Increasing availability of data from sensors, satellites, and other sources is making it easier to train and use AI models. And the decreasing cost of computing is making AI solutions more affordable than ever before. How do we create a blueprint using artificial intelligence to combat water scarcity? The first step requires defining the specific goals. Whether it's optimizing existing water resources, predicting future scarcity, reducing wastage, or improving water quality. 
Data acquisition can be a challenging process as it will require collecting and digitizing historical data, including past water usage, aquifer levels, rainfall, drought patterns, and river flows. Implementing sensors to get real-time data from relevant sources, as well as gathering data from Met departments, satellites, and other third-party sources. Collaboration will be key for success. This includes engagement with international organizations to understand best practices and novel approaches, and partnerships with tech firms, research institutions, and NGOs. Sharing findings, predictions, and strategies with the public will also be critical for fostering trust and cooperation. Significant investments will also be required in tech infrastructure, including cloud storage and computational resources essential for AI implementation, as well as robust cybersecurity measures to protect data integrity. Finally, Supportive policies will need to be created for data sharing and collaboration between different entities, and regulatory frameworks will be required to ensure ethical use of AI. Furthermore, along each step of this journey, we have to ensure that we meet or exceed requirements regarding data privacy, ensuring that the data is housed and used responsibly in AI implementations, and accessibility, ensuring that the technology is available to the countries and regions that need it the most. Improving global water security is a complex challenge. But through the integration of artificial intelligence into water management strategies, we can execute data-driven, proactive approaches and unravel the immense potential AI holes, ensuring a water-secure future for humanity. Thank you.